Today, I'm going to show you how to make a trumpet out of a sheep's head. The art of making trumpets out of horns has been around for thousands of years. And the other day I was walking through the paddock and stumbled across this old sheep's head here. He's a ram that's um, died out in the paddock for some reason or other quite a few years ago by the look of uh, the state of his skull. Anyway, I thought I could make him or two of his horns into a couple of trumpets. Now you might see uh, some uh, ram's horn trumpets advertised and they're these big nice spirally things that go up tall and almost sort of straightish and that's nothing at all like a ram. I could pretty much guarantee that's a kudu horn and I've been to South Africa and I've seen a kudu and it does not have a horn like that, it has one of those ones that they advertise in the shops as ram's horns. But this is a genuine ram's horn because it's off a sheep and a kudu is an antelope. So today I'm going to show you how to make a ram's horn trumpet and uh, so let's get into it. Now to start with we've got to get the right tools so just got some drill bits, a uh, little hand saw, a drill of course and some sort of a whacking stick to knock the horn off if it's not going to come off too easily. So. First of all you need to get the horn off and this one because it's so old it's just sort of fallen off the cartilage of the, the inner part of the horn there but if it's not going to come off very easily you just give them a knock um, in that spot there sort of, just whack it and it should after a few blows start to loosen come off like that. So a good thing is with rams is you get two horns most of the time if they didn't break it off before they died. So I like to have a look and see which one's going to make the nicest looking horn and start with that one. So it looks like this one's this one's the goer. So first we've got to make the end here just nice and straight and flat because you're going to have to blow at that end there and then we'll hollow it out with a drill it's hollow a fair way back to here but it goes solid around about there so once we cut the end off then we'll have to drill a hole into that egg gap there and then um, smooth off the edges and uh, oh, which we'll have to do with a file by the way I'll get a file in a minute and uh, then we'll go uh, blow into it like you do a trumpet and see how it sounds. I think I felt it bust through, so we should be able to blow through it now. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's uh, pretty stinking because as old as it is, as soon as you cut it and make that nice and fresh, that horn sort of stuff there, it's just got a lot of protein in it. Once, once it warms up, it stinks and uh, you can't really fix that smell actually, it just sort of stays there so anyway I'll smooth it off now and make it a bit nicer to blow in and see if we can get a good sound out of it. Trail, 
here it is. You can go take it further if you want to and get them polished and make them all look nice and pretty and, and shiny and that. But uh, that takes quite a few hours work I think and uh, I'm no professional in making ram's horn trumpets. So I'll just give it a go and see if I can get a sound out of it. Oh, that's a good one. I've made them before, I've made a couple of smaller ones and I've never got a sound out of them like that, so well, that's great. Okay, so there it is. If you want to make a ram's horn trumpet, that's how you do it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and pass it on to your mates or whatever, so I'll catch you later. Give me a seven, my boo. Give me a seven, my boo.